tonight we want to introduce ourselves as the counselors. I am Tia Filippelli. I have students with the last names A through G. I'm Mallory Newman. I have students last names H through N. And I'm Colette Swenson and I have students with last names O through Z. Here at West Seattle as school counselors we primarily support students with academic advising and college and career planning. Um, for personal social support, we contract with a variety of local agencies to provide mental health counseling to our students. The main sources of information for incoming freshmen and for parents will be on the West Seattle High School website. There you'll find information such as upcoming events such as this one, and then also for clubs and um, sports opportunities for you guys for next year. And also our counseling website at www.shscounseling.wordpress.com. This site has just about everything a high schooler needs to know from graduation requirements, college information, community service opportunities, ACT, SAT information, etc. Here you will find a separate tab for incoming ninth graders. This is where we will have all of our counselor and administrator information as well as registration information such as the courses offered and worksheets for choosing classes. Here at West Seattle we offer honors to our freshman students in English, history, and science. Math placement is determined based on eighth grade courses and final grades. So for example, if you were taking Algebra 1 as an eighth grader, you would take geometry here with us in ninth grade. As far as the timeline for course scheduling and registration, all three of the school counselors go to our feeder middle schools through the month of April. That includes Denny, Madison, and Pathfinder K-8. We come to the schools to work with the eighth graders to get them scheduled into their ninth grade classes. Any other families coming from other schools or out of district, um, maybe private schools, are invited to attend an evening event in early May, where again, all of us counselors are there to sit and work individually with families to help students choose their classes for freshman year and get them registered. So please be checking our counseling website and school website regularly for updates. We will be advertising the dates of our middle school visits as well as our evening event in May so that families can attend those events. Uh, hi, my name is Sean Riley. I'm the department chair of the language arts team here at West Seattle High School. Uh, thank you so much for your interest in the school and I'd like to tell you very briefly a little bit about the language arts department. Our purpose is to help create um, readers, writers, and critical thinkers who love reading and learning. What students can expect from 9th through 12th grade here is uh, reading whole class uh, novels like Raisin and Sun, Macbeth, Their Eyes Were Watching God, uh, as well as uh, short texts uh, that require deep analysis. Students write uh, texts ranging from memoirs to literary analysis to um, uh, arguments. Uh, there is a ninth and 10th grade honors level course and uh, that course as well as the regular classes uh, are rigorous enough to prepare students for the AP classes that are offered in 11th and 12th grade. Um, some significant differences in high school language arts compared to middle school is that there's a, an increase in the depth of analysis that you do with what you read. The texts that we read are often longer and more complex, and the formal pieces you write, usually essays, are usually uh, more substantive, more evidence, more analysis. Uh, we view LA as a launch pad for success in all classes and beyond high school and uh, we're very happy to have your interest. Thank you. Hi, I'm Anne Louise Eads, Social Studies Department Head. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our department. Um, the students take Social Studies all four years of high school. Um, they start out with world history and they end with government. Um, at every grade level, we do have an honors or AP option. At the ninth grade level, it's an honors option. In every social studies class, we uh, engage the students with inquiry, um, active student engagement, reading informative texts, um, and writing um, and improving their writing proficiency. As far as reading informative texts, uh, we focus on primary sources, secondary sources, um, as well as other um, text-based sources that may be visual like graphs and charts and that kind of thing. Um, and then the students apply their understanding of the readings and of the content through writing. 
and they do a variety of different writing, both informative and argumentative. Um, they write both informal and formal essays in class. They also have a type of essay called a DBQ, which is a document-based question, and they're answering that with textual evidence. Um, and we also do have the CBA, which is a classroom-based social studies assessment, um, and that's researched aligned to state standards. In terms of the differences between honors and AP compared to regular classes, um, the, in the advanced classes, we cover the, de the material in more depth, and sometimes they're longer classes. Um, for example, government in the senior year, regular government is one semester, but AP government is um, the full year. Um, there's more challenging reading. Um, the texts are more college level reading. Um, homework nightly is about 30 to 45 minutes, kind of what you would expect with an intro college course. Um, in the advanced classes, they tend to do more formal essays um, and more demanding research. And then, of course, they're taking the AP exam in the spring. Um, and I think that's about it. If you have more questions, we'll have a social studies table in the commons. And you can also find my uh, email address on the website. Thanks. Good evening. I'm Jeff Racino. I'm the chair of the West Hill High School Science Department. Later on this evening, out in the Commons area, you get an opportunity to pick up this packet. So please be looking for it, and it gives you lots of information about our science programs, our real strong team of science teachers, talks about our facilities, and lots of contact information if you have any questions later on. What I wanted to mention really quickly is what your freshman could expect at West Hill High School in science. Freshmen take biology, and we pride ourselves in our ability to prepare our students for whatever their college experience is supposed to be. Uh, Four-year majors, two-year colleges, technical majors, pre-med, whatever the student wants. So we allow for that personalization. Ninth graders will take biology. We have honor sections available if desired. I get a lot of questions from parents. Is honors right for my student? Well, the quick answer to that is in science, the honors classes are intended for students who are especially interested and adept at science and also very strong in math. So we like to encourage parents to understand that a student who's an honors student is not necessarily wanting to take honors across the board in all subjects, maybe, but to give it some serious thought if they should really select honors as the best experience for their freshman year. What about after freshman year? Uh, tenth graders will have several selections to make. Most tenth graders will take chemistry. Again, honors is an option. We also have marine science, which uh, gives the option of University of Washington credit. We also have physics and our semester classes of astronomy and forensics. Eleventh graders and up can choose honors chemistry 3-4, our second year chemistry class, AP courses, environmental science, including and also AP biology or AP physics. So I hope you enjoy your evening. Feel free to ask lots of questions, especially of the science department, and be looking for our package of information. Have a good night, and thanks for coming to visit the West Side. Hey, welcome to math at West Seattle High School. So when you come in, you can enter our math pathway in various places according to this diagram. So sometimes, Students will come in already having geometry and algebra and they can start right with Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors. But if you just finished eighth grade math, then you would come in and start with Algebra 1. And then you work your way up the tree with various choices. You always can take honors or more advanced courses. If you struggle a little bit in Algebra 2, you might want to go to Algebra 3 and review those kinds of basic facts that you're going to need for college. If you're really good, you'll make it all the way to the top where we have our AP classes where you can get college credit if you pass the AP test. So we've got AP statistics, AP calculus, or you can take regular calculus if you want to go about half the speed and take your time mastering the concepts. We have a lot of help. We have tutors that come into our classrooms on a regular basis. We have a tutoring center where there is a math genius I'll withhold his name until you meet him. A four-year college is gonna want you to have a good, solid 
Algebra 2 base, but real, realistically, you should probably try to get through calculus and for sure do a, get a good grade in pre-calculus, especially if you have the inclination to go into a scientific field or the field of mathematics, because then you really do need to be in the upper um, reaches there where, with the uh, AP calculus, AP stats, or calculus. Hello, my name is Lane Tower. I work here in the tutoring center. We are open uh, five days a week, all day. We get student referrals from teachers for students who need help catching up on their classwork. We also run an after school study hall four days a week. We do morning mash, it's called mash. Morning mash in the morning on Wednesdays and Fridays from 7.45 till 8.40. And we also do mash after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.30. We have tutors available at MASH and it's a great time for students to get help on their homework or get help preparing for tests. Thank you. Bonjour. Hola. Ni hao. My name is Megan Schumacher and I'm the World Languages Department Head. We have three languages here at West Seattle High School. French, Spanish, and Chinese. World languages play a crucial role in education at all levels, particularly secondary education and post high school education. Most competitive colleges require three years of a world language and a non-competitive college would still require two years of world language study in the same language. And by two years they mean intermediate level of study. It's also really helpful to become a world traveler and just to know more about the world and its cultures. In high school, we focus on the standards of communication, culture, connections, communities, the five C's. And so the more that you can use the language in context, speaking, listening, reading, writing, and the more you know about culture, the more ready you will be for a level two class. Each student should talk to the middle school and high school teachers if they have any questions about what level they should register for. Hi, I'm Paul Savino, and I'm the department head of the Career and Tech Ed Department, as well as the Fine Arts Department. Career and Tech Ed is that which prepares somebody for a career. It is uh, more commonly known, or sometimes misnomered as uh, vocational education, but uh, or occupational education. Uh, but it is so much more than that. Whether or not someone is choosing to have a career as an auto technician or is having a career in woodworking or design, you're giving somebody those tools that they can branch out into a hundred different careers. But uh, likely we would be trying to create that direct path from high school to the job market. Uh, there are all kinds of clubs that are associated with this. Um, ideally, we're trying to also, uh, from the career and technical ed side of things, we're trying to uh, hook people up with internships uh, and um, then also just opportunities to, to maybe job shadow. Hi, I'm Coach West. I'm one of the PE teachers and coaches at West Seattle. I coach volleyball and basketball and track. Um, and then I teach freshman and upperclassmen PE as well as health classes. Fitness at West Seattle is being involved in athletics and sports where you can or where you're interested. Um, it's also being involved outside of school for your own health and finding things that you're interested in, learning social and leadership skills, and being healthy. So we offer a ton of sports here. Um, we have cross country and golf and tennis football, volleyball, basketball, wrestling, swimming, track, um, baseball and softball, and we also do love ultimate frisbee. For a student to join a team, there's always a tryout process, but before that you'll have to turn in a physical and a, a consent packet in the office. Your parent or guardian will sign, fill out with you, um, and that gives you permission to try out, and then leading up to whichever season you're trying out for you will find out times and dates and go through a two hour, three day tryout process. Hello, my name is Amber Donaldson. I am the YMCA coordinator here for uh, after school. Well, first of all, we do a activity during lunch, every lunch for freshmen specifically. Um, <clears throat> partially because we don't want them going off campus because they're not allowed to go off campus the first year of high school. I provide activities for them to do. We've got all kinds of things happening. Games, ping pong, uh, life-size connect four, all kinds of things. And the other things that we provide are uh, after school clubs, different clubs that the kids can get um, involved in 
if they're not uh, if they don't have a part-time job or if they're looking for something to be included in or involved with something they want to be a part of um, yeah specifically freshmen because it's the beginning of their you know their four years and yeah. so we want to really connect them with something that will keep them coming to school and keep them feel like they're involved Hello Future Wildcats! My name is Miss Ferda and I'm the Activities Coordinator here at West Seattle High School. Uh, as Activities Coordinator, I am in charge of our ASB and Leadership Group. Uh, and with that, we, get, uh, we put on dances and pep assemblies and we mostly just try to get students involved. Uh, and that's the best advice that I can give to you guys as you're coming into West Seattle, uh, is to get involved as early as possible. Whether you're getting involved with clubs, sports, um, be a part of our drama. Uh, you even have the option your freshman year to run and be uh, part of the ASB. So think about that because uh, we'd love to get you involved and get you a part of the West Seattle Wildcats. Hi, I'm Kari Lombard, your school nurse. Hi, I'm Johanna Fisher, the health center coordinator. And we are here for all of your mental, emotional, and physical health needs. Um, if you have medications you need to keep at school, you need to bring up four men, but I'm happy to um, keep them here with me or help you out with them. I can also refer you to all of our lovely providers in the health center. Um, yeah, so we are a health center run by Neighbor Care Health, which is one of the largest community health providers in Seattle. And we are a full-scale primary care clinic, so we can do um, pretty much anything you would do in your normal doctor's office, immunizations, sports physicals, mental health, reproductive health, we can manage chronic illnesses or give out antibiotics. Um, and we're a great resource for to have in addition to your primary care doctor or as your primary care doctor. Um, so um, you do have to be registered in order to access our services, um, but anyone can come see Kari. So we hope to see you guys in the fall and we're looking forward to meeting all of you. Welcome. Hi, I'm McKenny Kihara and I'm the Special Education Department Head here at West Seattle High School. At West Seattle High School, we're able to support all students in their needs as uh, dictated by their IEPs. We have a full range of programs for students, including resource access, social emotional learning, focus and distinct, uh, providing services in reading, writing, math, study organizational, social behavior, adaptive living, and any other needs they may have. Um, some offerings within our program include a focus class, which provides extra time and small group specially designed instruction time for students, as well as a communication skills class, which is designed for students receiving specially designed instruction in social behavior. Depending on the subject and level of support needed, students are supported either in classes that they need more targeted small group instruction, or are supported out in the general education classes. If you have any other questions, please find me in the comments after this. I'll be there. Thank you.